When we first got to South Sudan, uh, it was an extreme war zone. In Africa, militaries control nations, so to change the moral compass of the nation, you've got to change the military. Because until you teach men to love their brothers and love their enemies as themselves, they'll continue to kill. And we're seeing a great effect. There's a great light that's going throughout this nation, and many people are coming to Christ. And there are other ones quoting, if you don't pray, no one my death will tell you, you will get that. They're trained so extremely hard. We run the guys nine miles a day, and uh, we only feed them two meals a day to make them battle-hardened soldiers. But because of that, they're highly respected among the army because they're better trained than most of the military here is. And they go out and they live their lives in such a way that many, many soldiers are coming to Christ. We've had many soldiers that have led almost their entire battalion to Christ. Many of the generals of the South Sudan Army have come to Christ. And I was talking to the men one night at the refresher course, and this is where we bring the chaplains in to prepare them for another year of battle, to re-equip them and send them back out. And I said, guys, I, I want to talk to you here. I said, when you guys come home tonight, I said, I want, you to, I want you to kiss your wives and you tell them that you love them. I said, you pick your children up, you hug them, you kiss them, and you tell them why daddy's doing these types of things. I said, I've done the math, and I've realized that one in eight of you are going to die for Jesus Christ. And by the time we come here next year, one in eight of you will have gone home to be with the Lord. And when I said that, I didn't get the response I thought. The guys just stood up and they cheered. And what I realized is they just want to finish well for the gospel. Not everybody's meant to live to be 70, 80 years of age. I've told my guys, I said, guys, some of you guys are going to know the day you're going to die. You're going to be in a combat situation. You're going to look around and you're going to realize, I am not going to make it out of this. And when you do, you breathe Jesus Christ to the last breath. A race has a beginning and a race has an end. And when that race is over, it's time to go home and be with the Lord. And when you do, when you get on the other side, one day we'll all be together. And it's my prayer that we'll sit at the same table together and we'll remember the days of old the days that we had to serve the Lord. I said, but this is your time. And if you miss it, you will not get a second chance.